Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the month of July. My name is Terence. Uh, we have friends with us, Nicole, Joe, and Kevin. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Hello. Welcome those who are coming in. We give a few more minutes for those who are coming in. Some time for them. Okay, it's... It's really passed through the midpoint of 2021. How do you feel, guys? First, first half of the year is gone. Huh? Yeah, first half of the year gone. Yeah. Uh, we just basically spent uh, most of the time staying at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how's but, uh, life? Good. Good, good. But even though we stay at home, Yet, we also do not uh, stop our life to make sure you guys are able to watch us on your time, comfort for your home. You don't have to travel all the way just to see us. Thanks to all the technology. Yep. Thanks for your support as well. Let, me, let us check it out. What's the, what's the numbers like that people have watching us? From okay. my side, I can say that it's about 9%. It's online. Yeah, maybe. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Yep, 10. <laughs> I cannot see one. <laughs> yep, okay. Let's, let me just uh, brief a recap from last week. Last week, we talked about the mortgage loan for a, a new new buyer, especially new buyer. So how you get the mortgage loan. So this time, I believe some of you have uh, listened to the government speech regarding the moratorium. Yep, moratorium that are being offered out again, once again. Uh, some of you, including myself, I also enjoyed it last year. But this year, it's open again for you guys to enjoy. But about the details, of course, definitely it's not me going to share. We have our special speaker and he's a specialist on mortgage. will bring out the topic and her name is Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. It's your hi, 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 everyone. Yeah, so today's actually our life is talking about a moratorium. It just announced last week and it started today. I believe a lot of people here that they don't really know how to apply it and how's the interest they're going to charge, right? You guys know? <laughs> mm, roughly have some idea, but I think it would be good okay. coming from you, which is uh, okay. who is a specialist. Yes. Okay. I will share my screen uh, from now on. So I will start doing a presentation from here. If I have any questions, you all can just stop me. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. You guys can see the screen, right? Hold on. Uh, a bit. Yep. Yeah. You can see now. Yeah, I can see, right? So yep. from yes. the screen, we started it. Uh, let me just explain a little bit about the moratorium because some of them might not be heard about it before. This is a benefit for everyone who is having a loan from the banks. It's announced by the uh, Bank Negara to have a six month, do not need to pay any installment for your existing loan facility other than your credit card. Okay, we, this is without any uh, term and conditions. It is not only applied to the B40, M40, P20, or uh, on any micro enterprise. It's applied to everyone in Malaysia as long as you have any bank facility. Okay. So let me start with the category. So as I mentioned just now, it's applied to all individuals. All micro, my, uh, micro enterprise. What do you mean by micro enterprise is all those that uh, comp uh business that's less than five employee or your sales turnover 
annual is less than 300,000. Okay. Example, like all those uh, Katai Runchi and uh, partnership, uh, all those Taya, Taya shop maybe is like uh, with the enterprise one. All this is considered as a micro enterprise as long as your annual income is less than 300,000 or you have an employee less than five of them. And all SME companies, which is like almost near Berhad, you have a person which is less than 100%. Okay. So for the uh, moratorium, everyone is uh, uh, applicable for that. No support, no supporting document is required when you are applying for this moratorium. But for the SME, right, you have to self declare that you need this uh, moratorium which means that when you're submitting the form to the bank, you have to self-declare that you need this monotorium, uh, okay? So the term and condition is, is only applicable for Malaysia Ringgit. This uh, monotorium is not applicable for credit card. During these six months after you apply or while you apply, no processing freeze, no compounding interest, no late payment. Because if let's say for the normal loan facility that you're taking, Let's say you have made a late payment, the bank have the right to charge you for the late payment charge. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for this six okay. month, you do not need to have any late payment charge, no compounding interest or processing fees to apply for it. Okay. And then for the SME, uh, Nicole, for the SME, when they need to apply, is also uh, online via the uh, specific bank? Yes. Okay. Okay. So for the applications, right, it started today. Uh, for individual, it will take about five working days to get an approval. The difference for this time compared to the uh, last year, last year is automatically you are entitled for it. You do not need to sub, uh, submit any documents and you do not need to call to the bank to get the approval. You are automatically uh, entitled for this moratorium. You just that whoever do not want to take this moratorium, they just need to inform the bank. But for this time, whoever wanted to apply it, you have uh, whoever wanted to take this moratorium, you have to apply for your individual respective banks. Okay. Mm. So I go for the next slide about the credit card. As I mentioned to you, uh, credit card is not included in the moratorium uh, program. So for whoever have a credit card uh, outstanding and have a difficulty of paying for this six months, they actually can convert their outstanding of their credit card into a term, term loan for 36 months with a interest uh, 30, uh, 13% per annum. This interest is reducing pay, uh, balance. So actually, mm -hmm. after three, uh, even mm -hmm. within these three years, the interest is not uh, 13%. It's about 7%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Okay. We... We do have a questions from Mike Lee. He asking, uh, personal loan can apply or not? Yes, as long as all the facility that you get from banks, you can apply for it. Only credit card is not allowed. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. For Thanks, Mike. Any other questions? If not, we go for the next. So far, we can proceed. Yeah. Okay. So for the next one, right, is regarding, as I mentioned to you, bank do actually charge the interest. It's just that they do not charge by compounding. So I give you an example right now. Uh, let's say your outstanding right now is uh, 500,000. Okay. Interest rate is 3.2 and your loan tenure remaining is 30, 000, uh, 30 years. You can see your monthly payment. You all can see my mark, right? Uh, can yes, see my house, right? Yeah. yeah. So yep. you can see from the monthly payment, your every month supposedly is paid to the bank. The installment is two thousand one hundred sixty-two point thirty-three cents. Total payment is about seven hundred seventy-eight thousand four hundred thirty-eight ringgit point eighty cents for the for the total payment, which is including your loan amount and your interest. Okay. Okay. You can see from here. So it's just a before you applying any moratorium this is a normal outstanding that you are having and the interest and your loan tenure okay so because right now uh banks having different uh procedure once you take up the moratorium it's neither that will increase your installment 
or they will extend your loan tenure. So if let's say that increase your installment, you can see from here, your interest for 500,000 monthly is 1,333.33 1, cents. So if we times by six months, it's equal to 8,000, right? Mm -hmm. mm, so, understand? Mm. so which means the six month interest still going on? Yes, it's just that they do not compounding. Not also, do not compound, so just, just delay, delay the, the terms, but you still have to pay the interest. Uh. Yes, okay. so it, it's fixed. Okay, it's fixed. so you all can see from here, right? So for 400,000, the interest will be about 8,000 for six months. Okay? okay, so if let's say you are taking, I mean, because uh, as I mentioned just now, some men that increase the installment, some men that extend the loan tenure. Okay. So if let's say the bank mm -hmm. is increasing the installment, so you can see from here, the loan amount will be changed from 500,000 to 508,000 because mm. the 8,000 is the interest. Interest. Okay. okay. And then the uh, interest rate will be remain the same. Loan tenure remain the same. So you can see the see from here. The installment from period slide 2162 is already increased to 2196.93. 2,100.93 mm. cents. All right. So you can see from here, your additional interest for this six month actually is only 12,000. Monthly mm. installment is just increased by 34 ringgit 63 cents. It's not uh, the amount's not very substantially big. Uh. It's just uh, quite small. It, depends, it depends on how much is your loan outstanding. Yes, like. yeah. You have a yeah, huge yeah. loan, like five to six million, then you yeah, can then, see yeah. the difference. Yeah. Yes. We, we so, just we just assume it that this this uh this this client is just paying for one or two years only. It's a very, still very new loan. Then it powered up quite quite a number. So. Yeah, it might be uh, uh because you can see from this uh example, right? This client also only paying the loan for five years. Because maximum tenure now is only 35 months. Mm, mm, mm. 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 So this will be the one of the uh, one of the way that bank is calculating the installment if they increase the installment after the six months you took the moratorium. So another way is by doing the loan tenure, extending the loan tenure. So let's uh, see the option. Any no, option? Uh, yeah. Nicole, means uh, this 8,000, he the, this bank put it back already, right? Then we calculate again. Uh, so means your supposedly this, this 8,000 is an uh, interest. So then we calculate again the interest on top of this 8,000, right? At the end, you additional 12,000. Because you put it back in the bank loan already. Uh. The fact that the 8,000 will be adding back to your outstanding. So which means mm. the biggest outstanding is only 500 ma, right? Mm, so yes. after you took the moratorium, as uh, over here, so you took the moratorium, you can see from here, for six months, your total interest is 8,000. Your is 8,000. Mm. Yeah. So when January, when you started back your installment, your loan amount will become 508,000. Mm. So, so actually, if you say your... based on this one, right? If I say based on this one, uh, the eight thousand mm. supposedly is a uh, interest also. So mm. actually, they, they suddenly they got twenty k for the total interest, you know, because the eight thousand supposedly they need to pay uh, for the interest, uh. They pay uh, for I, interest first. I, I then, don't really get what you mean. Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, I mean is the eight thousand actually calculate for six month interest. So yes. this eight thousand is not the principal, am I correct? So yes. this like eight thousand is the interest plus yes. because we calculate again the whole years right additional mm. got twelve thousand plus the just now the eight thousand is the interest means actually additional twelve twenty k. You cannot. Can uh, uh, no no no. Because it's moratorium. It's moratorium but actually end up your additional interest is only twelve thousand four four hundred and fifty six only. Because you got an additional eight eight thousand. Eight thousand. Yes, you you see from the first slide, yeah. Uh, this is the AA. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> so you see from here, right? The total mm. five hundred thousand. 
let's say you just paying like normal, okay, mm. three point two thirty years. So your total payment for everything supposingly is seven seven eight four three eight point eighty cent, right? Mm. But because you took the moratorium, you can see after thirty years, it's only mm. additional. Oh, sorry, it's only the additional okay. twelve thousand. Yeah. So do not have the one that you mentioned Extra, about. Uh. Yes. Yeah. What Nicole mean is the eight thousand additional interest. But at the end of the day, you will pay everything. It's just you pay extra twelve hundred. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. So far, understand right? Any questions? Mm. Any Any so questions from 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 the audience as well? Because I find it, uh, we find it a bit of calculation. Maybe it needs some time, uh, to, to digest. To digest, yes. Mm. Mm. But if I say for your audience that uh, you all found that it's very useful, I think now you can quickly share to your friends, tag your friend here, maybe tag one or two friends here in the comment. So uh, because this one more time, we don't know whether you want to take or to know. But at least yep. that you, you understand first, right? Mm. Mm. So Especially after you listen the mm. so after you listen whether it's evaluate to, to you whether is it suitable for you to take it or not. Yeah. Thanks, Ronan. Okay. Thanks, Ronan. Okay, especially Thanks, those Cheryl. that uh, you think that uh, some of your friends will benefit from this information, you can share it out directly to them. Mm. So at, at least they can ask a uh, question directly to our mortgage specialist. Yeah, yeah. I, see much, I see more and more people coming in. Maybe the mm. numbers that attracts people in from 19 to 26. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's increasing, okay? Yeah, it's, it's a good sign. The yeah. numbers you bring in, the numbers of people okay, coming in. All right. Okay. So okay. so now you have um you have explained the option one. Is there um any other option besides uh this? Yes, as I mentioned just now, there will be uh extending the loan tenure. Okay. okay. So hmm. this will be the same. The loan amount will be highly high, uh, will be the same like five hundred eight thousand because the amount. Is the moral term that you took during interest. the six months. And so this 8,000, the interest, okay? So the interest rate will be the same, 3.2. Let's say you're remaining the same amount, 2,162.33 cents. So your installment maintained and you will be paying additional 10 months. Okay. Mm. Mm. So your total interest actually have to pay additional 21,170. Okay. Mm. So my understanding very direct based on number, it seems like option one pay a lesser amount. Uh, actually, you do not have the choice to choose on that because it's based yeah. on uh, specific banks and what they're actually offering. Certain so, so banks that do actually uh, you have to take the longer tenure. So the bank is there increasing the installment. So it depends your luck on the bank. You mm. well, so yeah. every bank uh, exercise a different option. Uh, is that what you mean? Yes. Mm. I see. All right. So mm. so so the client, we all have to go to the bank and actually see what they offer, how, how the system works. Correct. You guys actually can just log into their website go to the moratorium that uh, segment, it's already stated mm. everything there. I do actually, uh, I, I didn't really share all the website link over here because I was thinking if I share it out, I'm not sure how you all can click by I'm doing the live. So mm. if you all if you need the link, everything, you all can leave your contact or PM us, we will drop you the link for all yes. the banks in Malaysia. Okay. Yeah. 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 That, would be, that would be a good idea. Yep. Yes. So you can just drop up a message or PM us or your contact number. We can just drop you the link. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. All right. So far, it's all this information for the moratorium. Any more questions that you all want to know? Yes, so Ronan. Uh, yeah. Ronan, yes, we will. We, all the live will be recorded, so you can go to our page and rewatch again or share to your friends. Yes, not a problem. Okay, yeah, uh, Nicole, you can proceed. Yeah, I can just go for the next slide, yeah? Yep. So how you can apply for the monotorium? 
uh, client can uh, send the email to the respective bank or log into the respective bank website to fill in the application form uh, or call the respective bank. Okay. As I say, if you really wanted the link, you can just drop up a message. We will, just, we will send all the links to you. Okay. And here I emphasize one more thing. If uh, for previously the first uh, moratorium, you do not need to fill in any application forms because it's automatic. But this time, if you wish to opt in, you must fill in the application form. You do not need to call to the bank for follow up everything because the bank will automatically approve for you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. So those who are not really tech savvy, like uh, uh, like our parents, they don't know how to use email. They can actually call them. Yes. Yeah. But but usually you you know lah. We all sometimes call the bank. It's quite it's not easy to get answered sometimes. <laughs> but I believe, but I believe you as a good son, you do not mind to do the online. <laughs> sure, sure. Parents, right? sure, sure. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. We are here to help each other, but we need to help our parents as well as a family members, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. Um, Nicole, I have a question. What if um. Uh, some client, you know, um, they want to opt for this moratorium, but they have outstandings, means, uh, you know, they, they have not uh, been paying on a timely manner to the bank on their monthly repayment. Would this affect their application? For the future moratorium? applications? I mean, for the moratorium here itself. The, um, you said that you have got to apply for it, right? It's not automatic. Yeah. So yeah. what if um like someone who um have not been paying on a timely manner? So um you know, you know they have been uh, late uh, like two months, three months. Oh, you know okay. uh, what were the application? You know for this what? uh for 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 this moratorium right is whoever mm -hmm. have a payment uh late payment for more than ninety days, you are not applicable to apply for it. What if what if he or she settle now? <laughs> settle. Settle by July. Okay, oh. <laughs> yeah, by, by July. July. <laughs> by, today. by by July, you already settle everything. You're outstanding or setting uh settle the whole loan or what? Settle the settle whole loan. Between, you settle the whole loan, then you do settle one two months. Ah, so by this day. Settle one two months already, and then apply for six months after. Ah, like that. As long as you are not more than ninety days, you can apply for it. If more than 90 days, you are not allowed. Not allowed. Uh. I mean, Even I not, not eligible. Uh, no, Even though I settled eligible. already, they are not eligible. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. we, we, can, we need to see the time frame. Is it more than 90 days or less than the 90 days? Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. All yeah. Right. Please, all right. please pay on time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's not only for the moratorium. Uh, it's not only for getting moratorium. You need to pay on time. La. You need to pay on time. And, uh, Persistent is because you need to apply for loan for the banks. Any bank facility, they do actually look at your payment method. Yes, yes. yes yeah, yes. It's all, it will affect you not only during this moratorium. Maybe true, next time true, you want to true. apply loan also a challenge, you know? Yes, yeah. not only. Yeah. It's just a simple credit card. You might be not able to get it as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, really? About credit card, yes. Yes. Oh, same. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, all right. Mm. So, any more questions? I have to apply in this month. Uh. Let's say in I, I want to apply uh, after three months. Like that. <laughs> then I only decide. <laughs> can, cannot. cannot. You only I, can apply yeah. on the July. July yeah. only. Uh. I thought yes. I can like spend some money here and there and a Taobao or something, then I only decide still got money, you know. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, only, uh, it's, only can, uh, it's only started in July and then in July. After that, you uh, cannot. Yes. I have to make Nic decision Nicole. by this month. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Nicole, what if I um actually apply for the moratorium? Mm -hmm. Because the mor uh, moratorium is six months. I apply now in July uh, and then mm -hmm. I got approved. So halfway through, maybe uh third, fourth month, um okay, I, on the fifth month, I find it that I'm okay. I, I would want to continue paying my uh, installments, you know. Yeah, um, it's, I, I, uh, yeah it's still I, possible, I, I, right? Yeah, it's possible. Bank is most welcome you to continue to pay the installment. But okay. mm -hmm. so I have to let the bank know. 
Yeah. You have to inform the bank, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. okay. Also, but right. email, same? It's yeah. better you call. La. Okay, it's better call. To, to double yeah. confirm. Okay. okay. To let them know that you wish to continue back your installment. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Our boss okay. Kevin here got money, so can pay. <laughs> <laughs> you must. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. For for, so just for saying, the audience behalf, lah. For the audience behalf, yeah. I, I saw the audience saying that he says this one uh, means if I say the ninety days is actually calculated for three months or secrets three of three. Yeah. Sorry, means three months or secrets oh, number secret three. number three. I think he I, he meant the ninety days. Continuous uh, for three months. Uh, continuous oh, continuous for three months. Ah, okay, yes. okay. Mm. okay. All right, all right. Mm. Okay. So, um, can yep. you come? Yeah, yep, we, we all can continue. Oh. Okay, I continue my okay. So, okay. So, like, like, what the benefits of uh, opting in? Uh, actually, do not have uh, what kind of benefits that I'm going to mention over here. Lah. I'm just giving you some what I've thought of. Maybe you guys can use it as a reference whether you want to take it or opt in or opt out for it. Okay. Okay. First of all, if you're really having difficulties for this six months on your monthly expenses and you think that you really do not have so much money to pay for your all your installment for this six months, I definitely mm -hmm. would advise you to opt in because this six months you still need to survive for your money expenses. Correct, mm. correct. Right. Okay. Yeah. So another thing is, if you have a very good opportunity to get a very good investment, which the return is much more higher than the interest that bank going to charge you, you can opt in to use the money for an investment. If okay. let's say your money installment for the properties, personal loan, car loan, it's about 30,000. So for six months, it's about 180,000. So you yeah. maybe can take this 180,000 to purchase a auction property. Mm. And mm. in the return, he will give you much more investment. The return will be higher. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it depends on individual. I'm not here to asking you guys to take it or not to take it. Yeah. Okay. You okay. do not Tell, you you don't tell me that you go and opt in is because I want to have a nicer meal to eating a one <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> or so oh I will advise you to pay for the interest. I mean you will continue to pay for your installment. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. So it depends on how you want to use the money. Nicole, mm. I, I saw there's some uh question uh from Miss Kelly Gunn. It says mm. Cannot apply, but I continue paying the installment and utilize the moratorium only on months I have difficulties. Maybe Means one within, Yeah. Yeah, maybe within the six months, maybe okay, now um I, I don't have issue, I still pay. Then after that, uh -huh, in August I may have faced some, some difficulty, then I stop paying, you know, so on and so forth. As long as you apply for it, you already automatic is uh get your moratorium for that. So oh, even you have Continue paying, bank they will just treat it as an advance payment. Advance payment for January. Advance payment for January. Yes. Okay. All, right. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay. I hope that answers uh Kelly's uh, question. Also, um, there's another question from Miss Daphne Tong. Will those applied for the moratorium during MCO 1.0 refrain or harder for them to obtain a new home loan from the same bank? I uh, yes. It's because the same bank they do actually have your record. So advisable if you can advise to other banks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can you can get your loan from other banks. Yes. Yeah. What if so, um if let's say yeah. the client itself, um their financial uh standing is quite good, you know, financial financial ability is quite good. Like just now you're saying that, you know, opting in, if let's say they have a, a big amount, they can take that amount to do an investment. So if let's say um, they have quite a good financial, uh, in, uh, I mean financial standing in that bank itself, 
So um, will that bank consider in providing yeah, the... Yeah, the bank might be considered if let's say maybe you have an outstanding at the bank for like 500,000, but you have mm -hmm. an FT inside for 2 million and you took the moratorium. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, January, you want to purchase a FT which is cost only about 1 million, the bank might be borrowing you the for the same bank that might be getting you the loan for approval. Okay, okay. This is yeah, so, so it's quite subjective, la, according yeah, to it's individual quite subjective, uh, financial. Yes. La. Mm. yes. Okay. But okay. advice is uh, because when you took the moratorium, right, your own bank, they can see the record. Mm. So, mm. So, the own, so the same bank will see the record. For example, if let's say I go for bank A for mor uh, moratorium and then mm -hmm. I go for bank B to apply loan. Will the yeah, bank B and, know, know that I got a moratorium on the bank from the bank A? No. Hmm. No. No. So they would and exchange the information from other banks. Exchange, right? Yes. Oh. oh if all see. the bank exchange like that, I think <laughs> then no people can get the loan approval, you know. <laughs> but make sense. But if I say it, but if I say uh yeah, there are no exchange for info, but see Chris will reflect that this person Oh, it's become uh, because, zero. Uh, this will not be shown in secrets. That's why uh only in the uh the same bank only can see it. It will show oh. in secrets. Yes. Oh. I see, I see. Okay, that's interesting information. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Okay, good. Anyone any questions from the floors from, from the audience? You can you can yes. type it in, we can just read it out and, and uh present your and questions. Then, yeah, out. share some information. I, I, I have a final question uh, from me. It's that uh, if let's say I have a few banks, I have bank A, bank B, bank C, I have uh, all the banks that, that I got a loan from it. Can I just pick just one of it or two of it? I, I don't have to apply three of it. I just want to uh, lessen my burden. Maybe I pick one, be it bank C just for moratorium, that's it. And then bank A and bank B, I still serve my loan. Still, okay. still work for it. Okay, right? okay. Yeah. You do not necessarily need to take all your bank facility for the moratorium. You can choose mm. on that. Mm. Maybe mm. maybe some of you guys really want to uh, lesser the burden. Maybe you just apply one or two, then continue to serve others. It's up to you. The final call is still yours. Uh, there's yeah. no right or wrong. Yep. I see. It's just uh, this I time see. is much more flexible for you to choose to take it or not. Uh. This is quite good. Yeah. Mm. Yep. So this okay. depends on individual decisions, la. It's your yeah, call. Share mm. some information about the calculations and how the moratorium is supposed to be applied. So yeah. whoever needed the link, you can just drop us a message. We will just uh reply to you as soon as possible. Yeah. For for mm. those who okay. just came in, you missed out some of the calculation. Don't worry. You can actually check uh from our Facebook page and then you can rewatch again our live. Then you can see again. Yes. Any questions again, you can actually PM us to ask a few questions. Then mm -hmm. we will reply you if. Yep. Uh Nicole, Nicole, I have a question. If let's say um okay, let's say my uh, my installment, because this moratorium starts in uh April 7th, which is today. What if I've already paid my installment on the first? Of For July? the first first of July. First of July. Okay. Yes. You actually can call to the bank collection department to get back your the first month installment ah uh, so we have yeah. to call the bank uh, to yes uh, to the bank let them reimburse yeah. uh, the bank will I see, I see. Back to you. yes okay okay we have to apply uh, huh? okay we have a question from alex okay. lee mm. if yes. i apply in september the moratorium will be ended on february oh i just asked the same question with you yeah, can I? Can, I I have the same question which is now. I asked you now. Like, can, can I apply it? three months later or not? The answer is Cannot. no. You have to make your decision <laughs> no. in this month. So July, no. either you call it, you want to take the moratorium or not. So you cannot apply next month or September. I have a same idea with you, Alex. We have a same <laughs> idea. Maybe you want to spend a little bit money, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> so no the answer is no So sorry to no. tell you. You have to apply this in this month. Make the decision in this month. Um, Nicole, I have another question. Okay, um, will I be able to apply? Uh, what if I've accepted a payment relief assistance from the bank earlier? Can I still apply for the moratorium? Yes. 
can ah. Even yeah. though I've actually applied for uh, you know, an assistant because, payment uh, relief the from the first, bank itself. First, first moral tolerance was started last year, April. Mm -hmm. So the duration is mm. from April to September. Mm. So started the uh, first installment will be back on the October, right? So but mm. then I still have some clients, uh, some clients yeah, that do not be able to pay for it. So yes. they can actually extend it. Yes. And some yes. They, they appeal with the bank to get a 50% installment. Yes, so if yes. you are getting the 50% installment, right now you still can apply for the moratorium not to pay for the six months as well. I see, I oh. see. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And then we're applying for uh, the moratorium, uh, which is, this is the second round. Uh, will it affect uh, my secrets report? Uh, no. Well, not now. We show it secrets report, yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, just now right. she, she mentioned no yes. secrets report. Yes. That's why for those investors, they are very good already. They apply monitoring, <laughs> then they go and buy the other. <laughs> but they, they, look on, a good deal. they look yeah. for a good deal, best buy. Yes. I mean, I mean it's good. Uh, you're just taking a permission to legally uh, uh, delay your payment. Yeah. In a way. And delay, you, can, you can delay in a six month. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But but for my suggestion is if I say you really you have difficulty definitely you need to apply first. Uh. I think mm. because we so far we put from the from the top, we didn't found that any uh uh bad news are uh, only the interest will be higher a bit. Okay, you maybe pay longer, but however now even if I say you are suffer, I think my opinion uh, this is my opinion uh, right, to all right. in uh. Because I'm one of them to all been already. There is no right to opt in to or opt out. La. It's still no still right wrong. Yeah. You need it. Think, yeah, do not uh. think it's because of face or whatever, then you will be suffering yourself. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah true, true, don't worry. Uh, after pandemic, you will earn back your money. That kind of interest is easily can earn back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 all right uh all right. any 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 other question so far i didn't see any any anyone from the chat that have uh comments below i do, think do today's it, presentation is uh quite clear clear and quite straightforward clear, yeah mm -hmm. yeah any so more no, questions if no got, then yeah no more slide any we got still got slide <laughs> any more, any more? no no okay okay <laughs> sorry i don't know i don't know when is the last slide so yeah okay when so, you see my face after i show you all my slide that will be the last one <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. okay so any more question yeah. we will end at uh about 40 about uh one minute and yeah. 30 seconds if you got yeah. any questions mm -hmm. we give you uh, some time for about a minute of 30 seconds if I say you are online here, you can comment. If you have some uh, sensitive questions, it's not convenient to us here. You can just PM us as well. Yeah. Mm, mm, or, mm. or you can say thank you to our uh, Miss Nicole for the. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Terence will share my contact on the chat room. So yes. if you need anything, you can just give me a call about the financials regarding the moratorium. The okay loans and everything yeah yeah and then if you all need the link which uh just now nicole have mentioned you can actually uh privately message her and she will be able to send out the link to the um respective yes. site to apply for the moratorium itself mm. Mm. okay all right all right thank you so much uh, nicole for your sharing session very okay. informative yeah yeah Okay, if we don't have any questions, then we will call off the day. For those who just came in or you miss out certain things, don't worry. Uh, just give up, give about 10 minutes time, then you refresh back on our page, then you will see the video oh. again. You can actually replay play it uh, as many times as you want, and you can share with your friends. And uh, hopefully, this uh, live can actually help more people to understand how the moratorium works. And I wish that uh, this group and this live every week, every day we do, every week we do weekly, able to help you guys to understand more about your financials and properties, investments when it comes to uh, properties. 
Uh, thank mm. you so much, guys. Thank you, Nicole, again. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank right. you. Thank you. Right. Okay. See you next week. Goodbye. Thank you. Stay bye -bye. safe. Bye-bye.